Good morning guys, welcome to uh, day three of Bali. I know what you're probably thinking, why am I wearing a jacket? It's like 150 degrees here. The honest truth, my back is the same color of this jacket whether I have it on or off. Actually to start off the day, see that cool thing back? See that cool thing there? I want to start the day and climb that. I really like this place. That entire breakfast, a dollar and ten cents. America, take note. You never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. Bob Marley, on a different note, uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. No woman, no dry. That's Cody's, that's Cody's nickname right there. No woman, no dry? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It does. So I'm not going to tell anybody about what I just saw because it kind of fucked with me a little. It messed with me a lot and Andrewik will cry and a lot of people. So yesterday I mentioned that there are cultural differences in countries when you start traveling from like Los Angeles to a very small island off the coast of Bali. There was just a, a stray dog in front of my like room and it was growling at me to try to get in. So the guy that rented us the room picked up a rock and hit the dog with it. Like the dog's okay, but 90% positive the dog's all right. Whew. It's a little different here. I was gonna say it might take some getting used to, but I don't wanna get used to that. But uh, so today, on a different note. All right, let's. But yeah, that was really intense and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Anyway, I hope the dog's okay and um, onwards with our day. On a completely different lighter note, doesn't this look like the exact headband that like, Ben Stiller wore in Zoolander? Wait, you ready? Haul it. I think I caught the black lung pop. And right over there, you'll see like all these little quadrants. That's a seaweed farm and there's people out there picking it. I see what they're doing there. That's exactly what I was going to say, but now you can just see him. <laughs> and thank Christian for lending all the information. Alright guys, welcome to the hut. <laughs> Cody, Josh, and I, and Angelique. We decided not to do this ridiculous little hike. We have way too much gear. Um, Christian and his girlfriend are halfway down the mountain right now. And I cannot wait to see how drenched and sweat they are on their way back up. I'm just kind of like taking it in, to be honest with you. like. Vlogging in Bali is interesting because we're never gonna run out of stuff to film and everywhere we go is absolutely gorgeous But like sometimes with a view like this You kind of just got to chill and take it in for yourself Butterflies? I was about to say I think I might just get the shots down there with my drone. That's what I said <laughs> I was like, like I'm just gonna like, launch the a drone. drone down there and yeah. get all the shots from I here. was like I was like I know exactly where they're taking us The guide was trying to get us right down there to that beautiful end point but I was like, I could easily just get the drone down there, <laughs> get the same shots. The drone is flying sideways. Oh, shit. Uh, dude, what happened? I don't know. Dude, you... Can you guys see us? I'm trying to record on it so I can show them. Look, this is, oh my God. What the heck is going on with my drone, man? Look at that. It's not supposed to do that. 100% not supposed to do that. Oh. 
And now it's fixed. What the hell? Maybe it was too much wind. <laughs> Maybe it's just all those hours of abuse. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully it still works. A little sketchy. Now it's working. What the heck? But you can thank me for the shots. Thank you very much. They were pretty sick. And I got it back, so now only I have to play. Oh, oh no! <laughs> there goes the iPhone. The brand new iPhone down there. We should hill. just go back to the car, man. Yeah. Next location. Dude, everyone laughed at me today because I had a rain jacket. And guess what? Do you see that cloud right there? What do you feel in the air right now, Christian? Storms I are coming. Can feel it coming. <laughs> the storms are coming. So we're gonna hike down to the beach right now. I have zero worries because I have a waterproof bag for my camera bag, and I got a waterproof jacket for me. If it starts, oh, you have one for your bag? Yeah, I got a cover. Okay, well then never mind. I was gonna say, ha ha, but built in. We're I'm gonna borrow your jacket. I'm gonna wrap it around in my bag. <laughs> you have to pry it off my dead body. I really might have to because I have your L series lens exposed. It's weather sealed. It's weather sealed. Have fun Damn getting it. wet, boo. I saved you. I said, we're I not know, doing it. Bro. We're not doing it. I'm not putting Sawyer through this. Show them where they wanted to take us. I'll walk so to the edge of you. Okay, look. look guys, that's look. where we're supposed to go down, Sawyer. <laughs> it's where, like, he's like, 2,500 meters. It's like, what does that mean? Half an hour walk? Downhill. Downpour. It's about to, like, open up thunderstorms crazy. Yeah, but, like, is it cool like that? <laughs> I want to know if it's cool like this. The rain is gonna mess I want to up see this camera. Side. How about we walk to the side before we go down and check if it's cool? Yeah. Yeah. Because then we'll know if it's worth it. So yeah. we'll, we'll walk before we go I down. I was celebrating and everything. Cool. Yeah. Let's do it. Because this is just too great to uh, to pass up. What? That I don't want to hold your feet over a cliff? It's it's a very small cliff. It's a very big drop. <laughs> but it's a very small cliff. All right. We're not doing it. What? You have to. I gotta get it for my video. That's why I took a photo. I got the photo. Now I want my feet to dangle and kick as I hang there for my video. For my through my eyes. If you missed why Angelique's not happy, I've been sitting on the edge of this cliff right here with like half my butt on the cliff, half my butt off. And I've been having her hold my shoulders so I don't fall because I wanted to get a really, really sick Instagram photo, which I got. And now I want to do it again for my through my eyes video. And she's not as stoked about that because last time I did it, it was a very close call. But I did it, so I think I can do it again. Okay, okay, let me. <laughs> I love stressing her out. It's not hard. Oh. All right, attempt number two. Sorry, babe. Guys, look at how cool this is, though. My mom's gonna kill me. Oh. Oh, God. Will you come down here? Baby, if I fall, you cannot help me back there complaining about me. Please, just come help me. I want to get this shot. It's what I do. It's my job. I don't want to be rude, but I do want to get this shot really badly for my video. All right, I'm going to put this camera away. We'll switch that one. We'll get it. We'll be done, okay? That is so beautiful. I'm glad we get to spend things like this together, baby. Yeah, this is really cool. This is awesome. Yeah, this is so cool. Look how blue the water is. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go get the drone ready, I think. So we've been waiting in the car for like almost 40 minutes or so and freaking Cody's not back. So Josh just went to look for him, but we have no clue where he's at. We thought he was in the bathroom and then he came back for like two minutes and took off running again. We lost him. He's gone forever. We lost him. He's gone. Most probable outcomes of Cody's dilemma, attacked and killed by a monkey, um, kidnapped and sold as a, an amazing looking young white YouTuber. Um, what else? Help me out guys, I'm getting creative. That's literally it. That's no. literally it. It's one of those two. Dude, take mine with you. Hey, if you guys like what you're about to hear, go subscribe to Christian. Hey guys, this is uh, the rescue op. So far unsuccessful. How do I know if it's recording? Oh, there's a recording. I have a different vlog camera. Josh! Cody!
Alright guys, I've been running for about half an hour. Still don't see them. Thank God, Cody, I found you. Where have you been, buddy? I'm sorry, I left you guys. You like? You wanna be in the video? Yes. It was that bad, bro? <laughs> Dude. So okay. when you come to foreign countries, expect the worst. Do you remember what I said this morning? I do. I said one of us will get food poisoning in the next two days. Guess who got it? Oh, bro. Oh, man. Sorry. Well, glad to have you back. Thanks, man. Glad, glad to, glad to be back. get you. Oh, that's rough. That 40 minutes that we were waiting in the car, his bowels were exploding. <laughs> so unfortunate. <laughs> exploding. <laughs> So I've made a lot of new friends. <laughs> yeah, We're about yeah. to fly the drone. Yes. Careful. Guys, that was so cool. See all the kids behind me? They were just with me while I was flying the drone and they were so excited. They were like all pointing out their houses and stuff. It was like one of the, honestly, like the coolest experiences I've ever seen, ever had in my entire life. And I feel so blessed to have had it. And uh, now we're gonna go back. Bye, bye. Wow. So cool, man. The, in, the, the joy that they got watching it fly around and pointing at their homes, like, such a cool feeling. I'm gonna go play soccer with the local kids. <laughs> Bye, baby. <laughs> Ready? Let's do it. We're gonna tear it up with the local kids. We don't know if they're gonna let us play, but we have high hopes. They seem quite nice. What? We're playing volleyball right now. Holy shit, the kids here are a hell of a lot nicer than the kids I grew up with. They all let me play their sports. When I was in high school, people just walked away from me. Bali, thank you for an amazing day three, and we'll see you people tomorrow. Peace out.